Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a foundation routine slash how I get a perfect base. And I'm gonna show you how I cover up my breakouts, how I contour, how I do my foundation so it is not cakey even though I'm oily. So if you'd like some tips and tricks on how to do your foundation, concealer, set, contour, highlight, all that stuff, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so the first thing that I like to do to make sure that my makeup goes on super smooth is exfoliate the skin. So that is something you wanna do before your makeup. You wanna make sure that your skin is nice and exfoliated, you have all the dead skin off and that type of situation. Then I'm gonna make sure my face is nice and hydrated so that my skin doesn't produce any excess oils. So I like to use an eye cream as well because I do kind of have dry under eyes so I like to make sure that those are nice and moisturized so that when I put on my foundation and concealer it doesn't crease as much. So to do that I'm gonna use the Ula Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream and I just take some on my ring finger and I'm going to pat that under the eyes. And I also put it on the lid so that my lids aren't super dry. And then to make sure my face is moisturized, I'm gonna be using the Ula Hendrickson Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. I like this gel cream for under my makeup. I think it's really nice and it sinks in really well. Okay, now typically you do want that to sink in as long as possible. So I'm gonna give it about five to ten minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that the moisturizer has set and we are all ready with our face, we can move on to primer. So I am gonna be using the Cover FX Blurring Primer. This is one of my favorite primers, especially for oily skin, and I really think that it helps fill in the pores as well. So I love this primer. So you can see there how it hides the pores, mattifies the areas where I need it. Then I'm gonna put on some of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakouts in light on my breakouts. And I'm just gonna do that before my foundation so that I have something on them before foundation. Now that that is down, we are going to grab some foundation today. I'm using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation in Medium Buff. And I'm just going to pump some on the back of my hand and then I'm going to put it on my face. And then you just want to pounce that into the skin. And I don't go near the eye too much with foundations, or at least I try to just do a thin layer there because we are gonna go in with concealer and you don't want it to be too cakey there. Make sure you get your jawline. And then I like to go around and just soak up all the extra product with the beauty blender. That's why I like to use a beauty blender. I think it just gives you much more of a flawless base. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go in with concealer. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Almond. And for this, I'm gonna be putting it in all of the high points of my face where I wanna bring some lightness. So in the center of the forehead, down the center of the nose, under the eyes, chin, Cupid's bow, and I'm gonna put a tiny bit under where I will contour. And I would sometimes put it on my eyes, but I'm going to be using a MAC Paint Pot today, so I'm not gonna be doing that. You do want to get the inner corner though. Mm -hmm. 
To set that, I'm going to bake, and I do that because I am oily and I like to absorb as much powder in my T-zone as possible. And I do like to bake under my eyes a little bit. I think it does help with creasing in my opinion. And I do in the T-zone area, as I said, because I am oily. And to do that, I really like the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in Fair Light. So then what you want to do is you want to take the beauty sponge on the side where it's already dirty and you're going to pat out the circles and then on the other side of the sponge, the side that wasn't dirty, you are going to bake with that side. I like to just bring it around a little bit. So again, with the dirty side, going to pat that out a little bit. Make sure there's no creasing. And then I'm going to use the other side to bake. And I always do my smile lines as well. Then I'm gonna take my Morphe M410, which is a very large powder brush, and I'm gonna take my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW25. And what this does is it helps bring a little bit more color back into my face. That powder kind of gives me a little bit of a white cast, and this helps blend it back into the skin. And I do like to set my neck with this as well. This also helps brush away any excess powder while you're baking and gives you a little extra coverage. Then I like to bronze up my skin and I like to use the Tarte Park Ave Princess palette for my bronzer, my contour, and for a little bit of matte highlight as well. So for bronzer, I like to use my Morphe R2 and this color right here. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it. And I don't mind that in a bronzer. And when you're bronzing, you wanna hit the points where you're going to contour, if you are going to contour. Otherwise, you wanna hit like the lower points of your face. So your cheekbones, the forehead, and then I also go under the chin. And I'm going to take that same color on a BH Cosmetics brush to do my nose. And I don't like getting too fancy with my nose. I just go along the side and the tip. And I like to bring it up to the eyebrow a little bit. And I'm also going to put a little bit under my lip. Now that we're bronze, I like to contour. I'm going to be using my NARS Eda brush and these two matte shades in this palette. And I'm going to start under the cheekbone. I usually like to start at the top of the ear. And I bring it down to about where the pupil starts. And then you want to blend it up. See the difference? And then I also like to hit right at the temple. Once I have my contour on, I like to use a duo fiber brush. This is from BH Cosmetics. And I like to blend everything out. If you're looking for blended contour, this is a must. Now that I've blended out all of the harshness, I like to bring a little bit more light to the centers of my face and also blend out the contour a little bit. I think it makes it look a little bit more natural. To do that, I like to use a matte highlighting powder and in the palette, these two lighter shades are matte. So I mix them together and then I put that in the same areas where I bake. See 
how much of a difference that makes. Then once that powder is on, I like to just go back and make sure all of the excess product is blended away. All right, so that is basically my base. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so that is how I get my perfect base. I hope you enjoyed this foundation routine video and learned something new today. If you did, I would love it if you left down in the comments what tips and tricks were new for you. I am super curious to see what things you didn't know and do know, so if you could leave that below, that would be really great. If you did enjoy this video and you wanted to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up, that would be super great and I would definitely appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Tati bye. my shirt. Boom! Dang it! Routine, so I'm going to be showing you my foundation, concealer. I would appreciate it if you would give my channel Ooh. comments what you learned from me. I'm very interested to see what, uh, what... Okay guys, so this is my finished, complete base foundation situ... But to know what stuff I'm... <laughs> Be so curious to know which ones really helped you. It is. What am I trying to say? <laughs> help you, help you. Tips and tricks help you. Which tips and tricks helped you? <laughs> oh my god. My foundation routine. I'm going to. Oh, I already did that.